Do you ever find the need to lock your kids, family members, or guests out of a certain room in your house? Well, you can do that with a smart lock like this one from Elemake. What's going on YouTube? I'm Reed with DIY Reed, and I do tech reviews, how-tos, home and auto related videos. If you're new here, please consider subscribing down below. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a smart Wi-Fi interior door lock. This is made by Elemic, which retails for $76.99. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. I will also be discussing some of the cool features of the door lock, looking at what you get in the box, show you the installation process of this door lock, taking a quick look at the smartphone app that you get, and sharing my final thoughts on this. This is an advanced four-in-one keyless entry smart lock with a fingerprint, password, app, and key access. It does have an auto relock function, which is not good when you're installing this lock and you shut the door behind you without setting it up. Yep, I did that. I'm sure someone else has too. Thankfully, I had the key and was able to unlock it. So let this be a lesson that you don't shut your door until you have the lock set up. Don't shut it, don't do what I did. This smart lock is made of a corrosion resistant zinc alloy with a sleek, modern, simple, stylish, and bold look. It is ideal for homes, offices, apartments, garage entry doors, storage rooms, warehouses, basements, bedrooms, you name it. There's quite a few different things you can use this lock for. Most of these features will be discussed while going through the app. Here is what you're going to get in the box. Here's what you get in the box for the LMA fingerprint keyless smart lock. So at the top you have a little user manual. Then you have a little guide here. This is explaining that this is the Bluetooth gateway. So this will connect to the lock via Bluetooth. And this will be the Wi-Fi gateway to your network. You have the USB-C to regular USB cable to power this gateway. And then you have keys here. So you can unlock the door lock with the keys if you need to. You have all the hardware here. You got the uh, little mechanism for the door. You have the striker plate here. You have different, it looks like different uh, little setup depending on how big of a difference there is or at least how thick your door is. And then you have the screws here. And then you have one side of the lock here with the program button. Very, uh, very precise, and I really like the how how stiff it is, and it really feels well made here. This is one side of the lock, and then the other side is going to have the fingerprint, and then the numbers will start. The code will, or at least the keypad will light up right there. Same difference here. This is really nice. And then you have the power cable. So the power cable will plug into, should plug into, I can't see it on here should say in the startup guide and I'll show you on the installation, but this plugs into this device right here through this. So that way you can get this to work. So that's what you get in the box for the Elemake fingerprint keyless smart lock. Let's go through how to install this door lock. The removal and installation of an interior door lock has a very few simple steps. To remove the old door handle, you'll find two screws on the inside handle. You'll want to remove those screws, unscrew them, and once you remove those two screws, you can pull both halves apart, the outside and inside of the door handle. Now this leaves you the door latch. So what you'll want to do is, there's two screws holding that door latch in, they'll remove the two screws, and then this will allow you to pull out the door latch. The installation of the new door lock is pretty close to the same, with a few added things. You'll stick the new latch in, make note that the new latch has the ability to adjust to different depths depending on your door. So make sure you match it up with the old one when you remove it to make sure you have it set up the correct way. Two screws screw in the new latch and then you're ready for the door lock halves. The kit comes with two different length centerpieces to accommodate for different door thicknesses. Uh, choose the one you need and screw it in. And this goes on the outside door handle. It only screws in one way. Slide in the square tube to the outside door handle and slide that little uh, electrical wire connection through that. Take the inside handle and slide the cable through it, and you'll need to remove the battery door on the inside first. That way you can slide it through that inside door handle. Now you can take the two screws, 
in the kit and screw the two halves together. Once you've done that, you can insert the four AA batteries into the door handle and then connect the cable up to the little connector board where the AA or the four AAA batteries are. Once that's done, now you're ready to pair it with your phone app. This brings me to the next thing, which is the smartphone app. Let's go ahead and go through this real quick. So this door lock uses the Smart Life app on my phone and I connected it to the wireless gateway so that way I don't have to use Bluetooth. The Bluetooth on the actual lock, Bluetooth to this little uh, gateway hub and then gateway hub connects to my Wi-Fi, so I can use this at any place anywhere outside of my Wi-Fi network. So let's go ahead and hit smart lock and at the very first glance here you get tap and and hold to unlock so I can go ahead and tap and hold onto that and it goes and unlocks the door. Now I'm ready to go. Now it will auto lock a uh, real quick um, in a couple seconds so that way if I accidentally unlock it by accident and then it goes ahead and relocks that way I, I'm covered. Now I can scroll over here and I can obtain a dynamic password and give it out to somebody if I want to. Down below is member management and this allows me to go ahead and manage different, manage different people. So I can put mine in there, my fingerprint and passcode, my wife's, my kids, my family members if I want to. So you can go ahead and set that up. So as you can see here, fingerprint management is enabled, password enabled, unlock the, from the mobile phone enabled and dynamic password management is also enabled. And I have one fingerprint and one password set up for myself. I can check unlocking records so it can tell me exactly when that door was unlocked and who unlocked it based on the fingerprint, thumbprint, whatever print, passcode, or by phone. So that way I know who went in and out of that door at what time. And then also smart linkage. So this allows me to uh, work with the home automation inside this app. So based on unlocking the door, you can have certain things happen if you want to. We're going to settings here and this allows us to allow for remote unlocking. And then I can change the volume of it. So right now it's on low. You can turn it off, mute it if you don't want it to do anything or have it high. It was set up on high and that thing was loud. I was trying to set it up at night. I almost woke up my whole family. But now it's on low, so you barely really hear it. But at least it's some nice gesture other than the lights to let you know if something went wrong or if it, if it actually worked. If you go to temporary password, you can set up a one-time password. Um, you can also use one that can be used multiple times before it expires. Uh, you can also do just one and it'll expire after one use, burn after use. Uh, limited time, so you can do one that's based on certain times and then clear all the codes that you want. So that's pretty much the app. It's really pretty simple and easy. I will say pairing the actual device or lock on this was, it found it based on Bluetooth, but the gateway hub was a little bit different. I had to go through and find several hub. They have different hubs on here and I had to go through and find that one. Um, and then reset it based off the lights. A little bit more difficult. I wish they would have been able to scan a QR code. So LMA, if you're thinking about this, put a QR code on those, please. Thank you. Here are my final thoughts on this smart lock. The nice modern look of this door lock and the ease of use are what makes this thing great. My wife and I are going to use this on a closet to lock up Christmas and birthday presents so that the kids can't go in and snoop around trying to find what they're gonna get from us. I'm glad they didn't have these door locks when I was around when I was a kid. Maybe they did, maybe they're really expensive. I would have had to wait until Christmas to know what I'm getting. Sorry, mom and dad, I hate to break it to both of you, but your hiding spots weren't that great. The fingerprint reader reads your fingerprint for a quick unlock. The keypad is responsive so you can enter a passcode if you want. The app is easy to use to unlock at any time. And if all this fails, you can use the physical key if you want to. These aren't just for your house. You can use this anywhere that has a door handle. Like I said, this door lock retails for $76.99. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. If this video helped you out in any way, please leave me a like. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.